and I'm locked in. Far as his teaching go, I am unreachable. I'm number one in your top Let's ten. Miss Williams, big popping. Turn it to the new school, you're dropping. A few moments later. Williams is being charged by Doherty County School System Police Department with two counts of sexual assault by persons with super advisory and disciplinary authority. Now many of you may know Mrs. Williams from her viral back to school rap video that WALB aired in our good news segment back in 2020. In the last hour we received a statement from the Doherty County School System that reads in part quote, the charges were filed as the result of an investigation into allegations of an inappropriate relationship with the student. Last week Williams resigned her position in lieu of termination by the Doherty County School Board of Education education in quote. If Williams is found guilty of those charges, she could potentially be facing one to 20 years in prison. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again, hit you all with another video. Hope y'all are having a very great day. Hope y'all are having a very great week also. My day is going absolutely magnificent. Big shout out to all the channel members and subscribers of the Trey King Show family and much love to each and every last one of you all. And yes, you all, today is Freaky Friday because you already know yesterday was what? Thursday, Thursday. And I know you all can tell by the title that it's about to get hot in here like Nelly said. So what I need you all to do right now before it get too hot is to get those sweet, precious, badass kids out the room right now so we can see what's really going on in Albany, Georgia, inside the mind of Adriana Williams. Anyway, get those kids out the room. Go ahead. Good. Anyway, hope no kids out the room by now. If those kids are not out the room by now, tough double D titty. And since today is Freaky Friday, guess what? Yes, if it didn't matter to Adriana Williams, it don't matter to us. Because guess what? All size matter today. It don't matter what size you are. Come as you are, like the good books say. Now, before I start this story, I want to send a special thank you all to my channel members and also to my subscribers for sending me this story. And also, keep these stories coming. Now, this story right here is really just appalling and it's very sad because the allegations against Miss Adriana Williams is very strong. And when I mean strong, strong like an old batch of collard greens that have been sitting outside in a trash can for about a week, for those who know that smell. Now what's being said and what's not being said on the news is the fact that Miss Adriana Williams was caught up, yes, with a high school student. And you might be saying, but Trey, what kind of high school student? Was he a damn uh, baseball player? Was he a basketball player? No, he wasn't a basketball player or a baseball player. What's being said, this guy that she was allegedly with, this boy really, is uh, a football player. Now, I don't know if he's a wide receiver or a quarterback, but I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking more like he may be a tight end, if you know what I mean. And now, as of last week, Adriana Williams has been fired and has been arrested. She bundled out of jail just a few days ago, and they charged her with sexual assault of a minor. Now, you would think a woman that's a high school teacher and also a woman that has a huge social media following because she has like 600 some thousand people that follow her on TikTok. You would think a woman like that would make what? Better decisions. But evidently, not Ariana Williams. Now, I know some of y'all may be thinking, well, Trey, how did the info get out? Who snitched? Who dropped the damn ball? And there was a lot of balls being dropped in this whole situation. Now, what's being said, yes, is those girls that you see beside Adriana right there, even though I had to blur their faces out because they're uh, teenagers or whatnot, because this story is not about them. Those same cheerleaders is being said is the ones that snitched on Adriana and dropped the ball because she had her iPad open. And guess what? These girls, these teenage girls, seen a picture of Adriana hugged up with a high school boy and also a video. Yes. Now, I don't know if the cheerleaders leaked that video, but they definitely leaked these pictures, as you all see right here. So not only do they have pictures of Adriana hugged up with this boy, but they also have video, as you all see right here. Now, I'm going to tell you all this right here. Notice one thing, the baseball cap. Now, what's the chances of a woman being with a high school student wearing the same damn cap, looking the damn same way? So evidently, that can only mean one thing, and what's that? That is the same person, because you see the hat that says "and." yes. It's the same hat that Adriana is seen right here wearing. Now, what's also not being said is the fact that Adriana's dad is the assistant principal at this school. And the school goes by the name of Monroe Comprehensive High School, where she was a cheer coach at. Now, I don't know why Monroe Comprehensive High School needed a cheer coach so bad, but I'm sure they regret that. But at the same time, girl, how you going to mess up a job your daddy helped you get? Because I'm sure he helped you get that job as a cheer coach. And what's also not being said is the fact that this helpful is married also yes yeah, she is married and her husband is said to be a cop now i know his name i'm not gonna put him on blast like that because this story is not about him he didn't do nothing from all i know 
And it seems to me the only thing that Adriana's husband is guilty of is marrying her because I'm sure he regret that now. And ma'am, how are you going to sit up here and destroy, number one, your livelihood, your career, and also mess around on your husband who happened to be a damn cop and also your daddy who was the assistant principal at the same school that you allegedly got caught up with a student at? What are the chances of that? Now, also what even more sadder than that is the fact, yes, a bombshell, yes, it's the fact that Adriana also has a son. Now, ma'am, think about this. You have a child. You have a son. And this same guy that you was allegedly messing with that's in that picture and also in that video, he has a mom. So imagine how his mom must feel about you hugged up with her son in this damn picture and also in these videos because I'm sure that you all weren't just meeting, just hugging up. You feel me? Because you are grown and he's a damn teenager. He's a boy. So what do y'all have in common and why are y'all meeting up after hours? So imagine, ma'am, if somebody did your son the same way that you allegedly and the allegation is very strong that you allegedly did to somebody else's son. That's a damn shame. Anyway, she has been arrested. She has bundled out of jail and she faces a long time in jail. Anyway, we're going to break the wrist down as I read a snippet from this story. I'm going to read a quick snippet from this story and I am going to give my opinion. All of it. Mm, mm, mm. Surely, as we go, former Doty County teacher buns out of jail on sex assault charges. A damn shame. How are you going to be married to a police and your dad is the assistant principal and you have a son and you around here taking pictures and allegedly in videos hugged up with a boy? And the only person won in this whole situation, y'all looking around like, who, Trey? Who won? The boy won. The boy won because he like, damn, <laughs> I got me some of that grown tail. Anyway, let's go and continue. Now, a former Doty County teacher was arrested and bundled out of jail on sex assault charges on Tuesday. A damn shame. The whole world going to know now. And ma'am, you might want to go and delete your Instagram because they're leaving comments up there. And also, you might want to go and delete your Facebook. And also, more than anything, that damn TikTok. You might want to go and delete your TikTok. And also, your YouTube page because you all over social media. But you know what, though? They do have one spot on social media that you make and get a job at. And it's called OnlyFans. Anyway, now Adriana Williams, a star of the hour, 31 years old, looking here a bit. I don't give a damn how old he is, Trey. Guess what? If that thing's swinging, I'm banging. 51 in the face. Was arrested on two counts of sexual assault by a teacher. She posted a $2,000 bond Tuesday afternoon. And guess what, ma'am? Your husband is a damn cop in the same place this allegedly took place at. Now, I hope he wasn't the one that arrested you. You feel me? That'd be a damn shame that your husband... Got to come up there and arrest you for allegedly, <laughs> and the allegation is strong, like I said, for allegedly messing with boys. And like I'm going to tell you this right here to all my grown women out there and the grown fellas too, what can a damn underage person do for you except for get your ass in trouble? You feel me? Like you have to have some kind of strong perversion of the mind. You feel me? To want to sit up here and lay down with a child. All these grown folks around here giving up that wooden cookie. Leave the children alone. You feel me? They already got enough damn problems to deal with. You feel me? Now, instead of Monroe Comprehensive High School hiring a damn cheer teacher, what they should have done is hired a math teacher or some damn school cook, somebody that can cook some damn food, other than somebody just teaching kids how to twerk and work. You feel me? So I'm going to tell you this right here. Look here. If you got a teacher that love to twerk and uh dance as much as Adriana, chances are <laughs> they may get down for the get down. Anyway, let's go and continue before I get in trouble. And also added to the story, the Doty County school system issued the following statement Tuesday afternoon in light of her charges. And it sounds like to me, some of these news stations were trying to make light of this whole situation. Look here, if we can sit up here and go in on all these other people that's been charged with these sex offenses and messing with children, these growing ups, you know what I'm saying? We should be able to give them all that work. You feel me? And Adriana is no different. You feel me? She's no different from all the other stories that I have done with people messing with these minors. Anyway, now Adriana Williams, a former Doty County school teacher, was charged by the Doty County School System Police Department with two counts of sexual assault by a person with supervisory disciplinary authority. And the charges were filed as a result of an investigation and two allegations of inappropriate relationship with a student. But guess what, though, sirs? We got pictures. Unless she got a doppelganger, unless she got a twin somewhere we don't know nothing about, that's her in that picture allegedly you feel me gotta use the word allegedly and also that's her allegedly in that damn video how are you gonna have the same hat on i mean damn you're not even a good cheater oh my god look here i don't believe in breaking up no happy home but evidently this home wasn't too happy so sir the husband <laughs> mr c that's your uh first initial of your name mr c what i would do i would go have a talk with jesus a talk with my mama and my pastor and ask the lord and pastor, what should I do? And if the pastor tell you to stay there, you need to find another pastor.
What I would do, I would go get a damn divorce ASAP. No way in hell I can be seen with you in public and you around here all over the news for messing with a damn student, a child. Anyway, and now in closing, last week Williams resigned her position in lieu of termination by the Doty County Board of Education. They gave her an ultimatum. They gave her a choice. Look here. You can either go and quit or we're going to file your ass. We're going to file you any damn way. But at the same time, how y'all give her the opportunity to quit instead of firing her? It sounds like to me that somebody's still trying to save face at this school. Probably most likely her dad, since her dad is what? The assistant principal of the school. And the school is named what? Monroe Comprehensive High School. In what county? Doty County. And if I'm saying Doty wrong, I am sorry because it's hard as hell to pronounce that damn name to me. And now for the finale. This comes from the Doty County School System itself. It says this right here in closing. On Wednesday, December 13, a Doty County teacher was placed on administrative leave. A statement released by the Doty County School System said the discipline was connected to a possible. A possible? These pictures ain't possible. That video ain't possible because what the hell are you doing with a student after hours? Why ain't you at home with your husband or your baby? And now let's backtrack real quick so we can make sure we heard them right. It says, a statement released by a Doty County school system said the discipline was connected to a possible inappropriate relationship between a Monroe Comprehensive High School teacher and a student. And that student happened to be what? Yes, a damn football player. He better be a tight end. And also in closing, because I know you all are wondering, well, Trey, how much time is this helpful facing? It says this right here. If Williams is found guilty of those charges, she could potentially be facing one to 20 years in prison for each count. And I'm sure they got on more than one damn count. But anyway, you all let me know what you think about this story. But it's sad that you have teachers around here all over America, really over the world, but I'm only talking about America because we in America. Now, it's sad that you have all these grown-ass men and women of all colors and races messing with children. What is wrong with y'all? I mean, whatever happened to you just going to work, doing your damn job, getting paid, trying to help people and clocking out and going home and being with your significant other. What is wrong with that? But ma'am, the fact that, forget about you being a social media personality, we don't care about that. The fact, ma'am, that you are married and your husband is a police and your dad is the assistant principal at the damn same school that you got these charges at. And also, ma'am, you're a mom, you have a son. So like I said in the beginning of the video, how would you feel if some helpful did that to your child how would you feel if a grown ass woman was around there messing on your son think about that for a minute it wouldn't feel too good anyway you all let me know what you think about this story if there's anything i may have missed or misinformed which is not my true intent please let me know in the comment section or you can email me we can talk about it more there if you like the video push that like button if you like the video subscribe to the channel become a channel member also share the video with your family and friends and until next time, you all stay blessed and have a great day and happy holidays to each and every last one of you all. And Merry Christmas. And I'm going to end this right here with a ho, ho, ho. Because this video is definitely about a ho, ho, ho. Anyway, I'll see y'all soon on the next Trey King show. And guess what? I'm out.